Good morning, gentlemen. I'm Mr. Morris. Find a parking space, did you? There. She's not around, is she? She? The woman. It's very bad luck to see the woman before the wedding. Ah, uh, no. The woman's upstairs. Oh, well, come outside, then. Come on. What? Layabouts. Now then, I've got something I want to give your grandmother. A noose? It's something very precious, and I'd like her to wear it at the wedding. Oh, right. That's nice of you. Yeah. You do know you're taking me to the synagogue today. Are we? And I don't want you looking like a pair of punk rockers. Tuck your shirt in. <laughs> Thank you for the sexual assault. <laughs> and you do your top button up. No one wants to see your scrawdy turkey neck. I. What about you? What about me? I'm in my comfies. Your comfies? Listen, when I'm in my full regalia, I shall look like a prince, I tell you. A prince! OK. Just a minute. Have you sold yourself? What? He has sold himself. That's all I need, a bottom soiler. You better not start soiling your bottom when you enter the house of God. OK. I'll, I'll try not to, Mr Morris. I'm a pillar of the community. Pillar of the community? I beg your pardon. See you later. I do know what you're doing. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't it? Actually, it is pretty. I told you he was a thoughtful man. Well, read the note. Oh. Dear Nelly. Oh, dear Nelly. Please accept this necklace as a token of my affection on our wedding day. On her wedding day? Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited now. It would truly mean the world to me if you would wear it. Of course I'll wear it, Lou. Even though the necklace originally belonged to my dead wife and she wore it every day of her life... I thought I'd seen it before. Try not to think of her when you put it on. Think only of me, and not me being with her, which I was for 60 years. Yours, Lou. What a thoughtful, thoughtful man. <laughs>